Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are going to be making one of these crochet buddies. Now, um, my last sort of few projects, they've all lived in a bag and I had quite a few on the go. So I was just getting annoyed by the fact that um, I was losing my... Um, crochet equipment all the time so yes I had the hook in there but I also needed scissors I needed stitch markers so it was just you know I never had them when I needed them and normally you know I have this as my sort of pencil case with my hooks and my stuff in it that I need but of course I had four bags on the go and they all needed their own stuff and it was just handy for me to have you know scissors in every bag stitch markers in every bag and so on so i came up with an idea because yes i put the scissors and i put the stitch markers in each bag but then i kept losing it in the bag <laughs> so that didn't work either so i thought i need something that i can attach to the handle of the bag um to which i know if i pick up this to which i know there's going to be scissors so there was no looking for it I knew where they were going to be and then I thought yes I'm also going to make it so I can put my needles on there and I make holes for the stitch markers and of course when you're finished working you can also put your crochet hook in it so in a way it is like a, a crochet body um, for it to just keep everything together attached to the handle of your bag and when you're finished with your project you can just unattach it put it away you know put it all away in your pencil case or wherever you normally keep it or just re-transfer it to your next bag um i did it and i yeah i thought it worked worked really well so it kept all my equipment that i needed for that particular project also the correct hook because i've got a project now with a different sized hook so um yeah that was really handy and it took away sort of the guesswork of the hook but also whenever i picked up that bag i am straight away i had all the equipment that i needed without needing to go back for my pencil case so let's get going on how to make this it's really easy and you'll be making one for every of your projects <laughs> so before we continue with the tutorial i would like to please ask if you haven't yet subscribed to subscribe to my channel also ring the notifications bell because then you will be notified of every new upload that i do and also leave me a comment i love to read your reactions and give me a thumbs up if you like the video Thank you so much for all of that. And now back to the tutorial. Okay, so what do you need? I have here a leftover of uh, sugar and cream. It's um, the color hot pink and it's for a five millimeter hook. So I normally use a four and a half then. So I go down um, a size, half a size. Uh, so this is my hook that I'll be using. Um, and yeah, I like it because it's a bright color. So it'll be easy for me to find it in my projects. But also as it's attached to the handle, you'll know where it is. But even so, just to make sure that it's, it's visible as well. So we are going to get started by doing a magic circle you didn't see that by doing a magic circle so you hold the end of the yarn in your fingers like this cross over like so and then you take your hook you go under this strand here you pick up the back strand twist it towards you and bring it forward like so then you go back to that back strand twisting again twisting again and bringing it through that loop there we go then you can get your fingers out and working over both strands we are going to do two chains I do two chains so this is one two chains you might want to do three chains but I think this is the height of my double crochet so I think that's okay we are now going to do 11 double crochets into the circle because our chain is going to count as our um, 12th double crochet so yarn over and insert into let me just do it yarn over insert into the circle where you have those two strands pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over 
equal through 2. And you keep going until you have done 11 of them. Now, to be honest, this is a very easy thing to, to, to make. You'll be making this really quickly because I did as well. One day I just thought, right, I need something to attach my scissors to. Um, and then sort of when I started getting things out to make it, um, I thought, hang on a minute. Why not also attach my my stitch markers to it? Because I'd been looking for those everywhere as well and I keep losing them. So then I came up with the idea of a flat circle with the holes on the side and I thought, well, yes, of course, if I have the flat circle, I might as well put the needles on, you know, so one thing led to another, basically. Um, I also have pretty stitch markers, but obviously, yeah, I don't use those. <laughs> They're put in a nice little box out of the way, <laughs> only to look at. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> oh dear, we do we all do those things, don't we? Ten and eleven, right? So now I have eleven V's on top of my work. We are now going to pull this end, making the circle small, and I keep it sort of between my thumb and my fingers like so, so it stays nice and flat, it doesn't curl up. And then I am going to skip these two chains here, go under this V here and I'm going to do a slip stitch and that then makes my 12th V. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. So that means this one here is my first stitch. So I'm going to do a chain 2 this is going to be my very last stitch of the round so let's just disregard this stitch and into the very first stitch we are going to do two double crochets so i use american terms so like i said before a double crochet is yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so while we started See this yarn, it does split a little bit, so you have to be a little bit careful for that. Well, we started with 11, uh, 12, actually, 12 stitches in our first round. We are now doing two stitches in each stitch around. So that means we are doubling up on our stitches. And you should have 24 at the end of this round here. Working with cotton is slightly different to working with um, acryl, acrylic or wool. Cotton does not have any give. So it, it does feel different um, when you're working with it. It's much sort of, it seems much harder, but that's the, that's the characteristic of cotton. Um, there are many advantages to working with cotton. For instance, you know, you can wash it easily. Um, you can use it for face pads and things like that. Um, so yes, so sometimes you do have to um, use cotton for you know clothing because it doesn't stretch like um, acrylic does for like those um, environmentally friendly bag shopping bags that they make they're also in, in um, cotton because it, they don't stretch so much so um, you know there there is reason why we use cotton um, I I know some people sort of say oh I really don't like it but it's just a characteristic of it um, sometimes you do have to use it and and now I'm using it because basically I've got leftovers of this nice, lovely colour, um, hot pink. <laughs> and these ones as well. This was a leftover as well, which I thought was a good, you know, a, a nice um, colour to use for this. Um, and yeah, I think um, it's, it's working out really nicely. And it looks good. So, sorry, I went... <laughs> 
there I was just jabbering on forgot to tell you what I was doing so let's go back <laughs> so I've done the last stitch in with that stitch where that chain was coming out of here we have the V so we go under that one and we do a slip stitch there we go we now have 24 V's on the outside of our work now you could say that this is big enough but I don't want to lose it in my work kind of thing because you do put it you know it can hang out of your project bag while you're working but while you're stirring it you might want to put it in and then it sort of loses sort of a little bit of you know the size of it if it's too small I think you might not be able to spot it easily so chain two we're going to do a third round so this time in the third round we are going to do in the first stitch we are going to do one double crochet and in the next stitch we are going to do two double crochets so then the next stitch one double crochet the next stitch two double crochets so we have a repeat of three stitches because it's the third round so one in the first stitch another one in the next stitch and number three goes in with number two because it likes to be with someone <laughs> it's scared and it likes to be with the previous numbered stitch so one and then we have two and so this time we will have not 24 stitches but we are adding let me just have a look because i did that wrong look one two one <laughs> talking too much so always check always check one and two so um this time we will be adding 12 stitches to our amount so 24 plus 12 is 36 stitches in this round one, two one <laughs> two oh it's good to keep you on your toes isn't it one and Um, it seems to be splitting a lot. I don't know whether um, this type of yarn is splitty or maybe uh, because of the way it's woven. But also I am using a smaller hook than prescribed. So it might be that. Although I'm not sure. Normally it works quite well. Like I said, cotton has its characteristics from acrylic. But also every yarn has its characteristics uh, some yarns are spun slightly differently from others which if you you know if you've made several things in various yarns you will have noticed but there again that's the way it goes and I tried to just you know take it all into account and work with it for that particular project so here I've got one left and then indeed here we have that chain coming out of that last stitch so that is where we have to put those two stitches but of course the stitch here the chain counts as our second stitch so we go under this V here and we are doing a slip stitch there we go so I think this is a good size for us to see where it is in our project bag so now it's time to start our little holes on the side here so we are going to chain one then another one and one for our holes so three chains in all then we are going to skip the first one and into the second one we are going to do a single crochet chain two skip one single crochet so we're making sort of little openings on our side where we can easily put our stitch markers on so chain two skip one 
single crochet in the next one. Two and skip and single crochet. So you should still have a, a, a flat circle with doing this, but you can see that we are making little holes there. So you can then put your stitch markers around there because obviously that will keep them you know in order and always handy for when you need them. There we go and we keep going. I mean this is a quick enough project I mean, to be honest, you could make this, like I said, for every bag that you have, that you have a project in, um, just so that you can, you know, attach um, stitch markers to it, a needle, but also you could attach, um, some people have these stitch markers with um, numbers on them, which indicate the number of the hook. So once you have this sort of on your project bag you could put that particular stitch marker on which gives you the reminder of which hook you were using see so there's a lot of possibilities with this <laughs> okay so i've just done my last single crochet two chains and now i'm here so i'm going to skip the first single um, chain because obviously that counts as our single crochet then i'm going to go under the two v's of the next chain which is not so easy because of course you tend to oh well I'll just pick up two leg legs that's fine okay just pick up two legs and do a slip stitch so that's sort of finished our actual circle okay and now I am going to make a chain um, and I'm going to make it as long as I fancy so now I just went for it. Um, the longer you make this, you'll have more end to attach to your bag. You'll also have more freedom of movement for your scissors. Um, so yeah, or, you know, I'm using a leftover. If you haven't got as much as I have, just do it until your leftover is finished lots of possibilities but let's let's just have a look at how long mine is now and I found this length it's about 50 cent a good 50 centimeters oh no I'm not there yet look um, I found that quite handy because it was just enough sort of to to attach this to the handle of my bag look I've got the end coming out the hell again I should cut that off so I attach it like that and then that's attached and then I've got my movement with my scissors and I have this dangling down as well so yeah it was something that um, somehow it simplified finding all my equipment that I needed for my project there you go you might not find it that easy but even if you know if you make this you don't have to ha attach it to anything. You can just see. I was using my pin cushion. You know, I was using it, but one day I think it fell down the sofa side, and I couldn't find it. And then I thought, where is it? And blah blah blah. And so yeah. And then the cat started playing with it. So yes, um, it all depends on what you think is handy to have around. Oh, no, that split. I was going really fast then. <laughs> so I think this colour is going to be perfect for my blue bag because it will stand out. And um, yeah, I can't wait to start using this. Like I said, quick to make. And, um, you know, easy as well. So, yes, I've got the protection on there still. For as long as it lasts, <laughs> cut that off and put the protection back on. I might as well just keep on doing it until I lose it. <laughs> and, yeah, I think that's a good um, thing that I made here. So I've just got to sew in. Look, and I've got my, <laughs> my needles out. 
close by. <laughs> um, anything to simplify our hobby um, is a good thing, don't you agree? <laughs> but also I think, yeah, make one for every bag that you've got stuff in. Make them as presents because, you know, people are, if you know other crocheters, you know, if they're struggling to find all their... How many times do we see people saying, oh, I've lost my hook, I've lost my scissors, I've lost this, I've lost that. You can just attach them to this thing uh, while you get your coffee or while you have, you know, while you take a break uh, in the project or put it away for the night. So there we go. So I'll cut that off in a minute. But yeah, let's attach some stitch markers to this. Look, there we go. I've got loads now, so I don't want to lose them. See, there we are. And that's quite handy because you know you've got some with you. There we go. See, I will put... Why can I not pick up needles? <laughs> we'll put the needle in there. What else do I need? Oh, where's my hook? Oh, yes, it's still in here. Oh, yeah, I have to put in, I have to put in this end as well. Put the hook there. There we go. Okay. So all I have to do now is attach it to my bag with some scissors on it and off I go. So this is the project bag and the blanket that I'm working on at the moment. So I just take this with me, you know, sort of from room to room, wherever I'm going, even in the car with me. And so I take out the blanket and then all I need to do is find my end here because I've tied it to the handle and up it comes. There is all my uh, things that I need for making this blanket and I have it all there and while I'm working on it it's just lying there. I take the hook out, start crocheting. When I need my scissors I can easily find them by just picking up the end and there they are. When I have finished this blanket um, I will just untie this and use it on another bag or just put it away for next time when I need it. So I'm finding having my crochet buddy really handy and I hope you enjoy using it as well. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! If you've enjoyed this video please do consider sharing it with others. Thank you so very much for watching and I also hope to see you on our Facebook group. Join me there!